So this is making Greek coffee without a Brickie. Been to Greece recently, really enjoyed the Greek coffee, but I don't have a Brickie at home. I do however, however have this, which you can buy on Amazon or wherever. This is just a normal saucepan, which we're essentially going to swap out for the Brickie, which is just the smallest one I could find. Okay, so the pan's on. What I've got is my cup here. Again, not a Greek coffee cup. Uh, that's just a smaller cup I can find. I filled it up with the, man, that's just cold water in there. And that's just gonna go in our pan. Most Greek coffee has a sugar in. So this is where you would add a sugar into this water here. Now the Greek coffee. Now for one cup I would put in about two heaped teaspoons. So one. And two. Alright, so you can see all the lumpiness goes at the top there. So what we're going to do is give it a nice stir. Now, some people like to let it boil, but what I've found is that I prefer it when you don't let it boil. And there we go, that is your Greek coffee done. There you go, one perfect Greek coffee with no breaky.